Bottles are made this morning. Bike is ready. Now I just gotta get this beagle off my clothes so I can get dressed. Sherm's coming to help in the aid today again. I dropped a pin for him today so they should make it to the A's good because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> like to see it try to break into this RV. <laughs> yeah, you better get moving, Ryan. Put some pep in that step. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna yell at you, Cody. I can't really ever picture Ryan with pep in his I've never step. Pep in I pep. bet he did in the Marines. <laughs> Someone put some pep in his That's step there. There you go. up today, boys. He's got those socks on him. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on the day, and took over the GC today. So I got some recovery. Bit of a slug fest today. Today was the queen stage, 34 miles with like 4,500 feet of climbing. And I knew that if I was gonna try to get some time on GC, it was gonna have to be today. I tried to make things happen early. 
I pushed up the first climb up Long Mountain. I think it was a little too early in the stage to really make anything happen. Tyler, Luke, and I got away over the top and we were, Ryan caught up to us just as we came into Dutch Alvin. But then we got away from him and it was just the three of us for the rest of the day. I tried to put some digs in in the middle of the race, but it just wasn't really happening. So then we hit the Enduro. Tyler led, followed by Luke, followed by me. I should have track standed before the start of the Enduro. I was a little worried. I thought maybe Tyler would just start sprinting right away, but he kind of chilled off the start. And Luke was right on his wheel, so I figured like, as long as we kept that together, it would be great. But towards the bottom of the Enduro, Luke botched like the last two corners, which gave Tyler a bit of separation and he ended up winning the enduro and then led through the rest of the single track, which was not really my plan. I wanted to push up over deer tick, the last single track climb before the last single track descent. After the stage, he told me he was cramping. So like in hindsight, that might've been the move, but there was no way where to pass. It was just really tight in there. So that meant we came into the final climb together, still house hollow. I think JB had the KOM at 1427. And so I knew that if I was gonna put time on these guys, I was gonna have to go right from the bottom. And so that's what I did. Just went and buried myself. I put a huge dig in. I did a one minute power at 584, a five minute power at 437, a 10 minute power at 427 and uh, 20 minute power at 493. I was all in on that one. That one was tough, but so worth it because I came across the line with about a minute 10 gap. Tyler had 40 seconds on me coming into the stage. So that's 30 seconds, but then he won the enduro. I got second. So that means he got 10 seconds on me. So as of now, unofficially, I'm leading GC by 20 seconds with two more days to go. Tomorrow is another good day to put pressure on. We've got Tussie Ridge, which is a really technical, probably 15 minute ridge line traverse. That's very pedally, uh, very rocky and comes in the second half of the stage. So could be a good, a good one to dig on. Then the Enduro drops right off the end of the ridge. So it might be nice to push across the ridge and get a gap before the enduro. Really stoked on the effort today, how the body was feeling, how the bike was working. Everything was just, everything was great. Now recovery, because we gotta push hard again tomorrow. Finish this recovery shake, eat some food, and then take a nap like the little beagle here. Isn't that right, little beagle? Little Beagle's tired because he spent all day helping me in the aid stations. Headed to awards. No Sherm this time. That looks like fun. Try to get the podium in here because I think I'll be pulling on the yellow jersey. Yeah. All right, so let's jump Class to two. our five day competition. Second place at the time of 2.40.55 from Charlottesville, Virginia. Luke Braunfelder, making his first, or no, not his first one, making his appearance back on the top step with a commanding lead today of 240-23 from Virginia, Kerry Werner Jr. All right, and now for the GC with a total combined time of 625.17, Luke Varenfelder, with a total time of 624.29, Tyler Clark. And in the lead, with a 20 second advantage, with a time of 624.09, Kerry Werner Jr. <laughs> 406.50, Jen Tillman. 